And we're recording this one, Jesse. Uh, okay, so Jesse does smoked meats. How, how else do you want to term it? Barbecue. Okay. Do you want to join me up here? You want to be on camera? Okay. So we've already done construction, hospitality, entertainment, uh, IT planning, and now we're getting into food stuff, right? So as I look at this, I think it's still the same process of how we go through. Now, did you do you have a specific ranking with those three that you would rather work with? I hadn't ranked them. Um, these would be the money makers, obviously. That was the first one that came to mind. Okay. But these two are just as important because it's the individuals <clears throat> that actually, in word of mouth, that get you the most attention anyway. So I'm, these can get you this. But so maybe if there was a rank, this would be like the biggest one, or you know, the money maker. But these are more consistent, steady income. Do you believe? Is that true? I, I feel feels about right. It feels right. Feels about right, I guess. Um, it might be right. I'm not 100% there yet. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's get more specific with party, event, and wedding planners. Anything else that we need to put by them? Because if we can flip open yellow pages or go to Google right now and find 50 different wedding planners. So how are we further identifying what parties, what events, or what wedding planners? I mean, should we say birthday parties, retirement? There's a, there's a lot of parties. Do we list out every type of party there is? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we, 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 don't, we, we don't want vegan parties. We have a heart attack if they came to that party. So turn it back to you guys. What other criteria should he have if somebody wants to throw a party or an event? What's important to have with that? Space. There's proper space for it. Space is leading to what? People. How many people, right? right? So if someone's having a small intimate gathering, like a vow renewal service for 10 people, uh, maybe that doesn't make a whole lot of sense for them. Maybe it's a retirement party where there's 50 plus people, right? Mm -hmm. So I would want to know about attendance. Attendance size, yeah. Okay. All right. What else goes with this? More people, more what? Booze. <laughs> the budget gets bigger, oh, right? Okay. So then look at um, how these two kind of go, they could go hand in hand, mm -hmm. but maybe maybe the budget is over $5,000 for the party. I don't know. Is that fair? <laughs> so it's over $5,000, right? Mm -hmm. Now, as you start looking at, well, who has the budget to spend $5,000 for a party? It's going to be special uh, life events. Mm -hmm for customers, but it could also be corporate events. I don't see corporate events up there, right? Well, that's why I left event, uh, event by itself, the uh -huh. corporate event planners. So then we want to look at corporate events mm -hmm. and think about all the different opportunities that opens up. You got seven football games where there's 110,000 people and people are spending a ton of money to impress mm -hmm. others, mm -hmm. right? So you look at those type of types of events. You look at going up to Dublin and Muirfield and New Albany and all those types of things where they bring in food trucks, mm. where they bring in people on a one-off basis to provide. And if you have an attendance of, let's just say, over 50 people, you're getting paid to do your own marketing, right? Because then small families and foodies, mm. they may attend all of these. And so then you get free marketing going out. Not even free. You get paid to do your own marketing True. to get that product out there. So we, we have identified a couple of criteria with that. All right, come down to foodies that like barbecue. A lot of people, you know, watch the travel channel or the food network that okay. goes around, and they just love good food. They post about it. They yelp about it. They travel for it. Okay. A lot of people just like to eat, period. Does... Does that align with your business model? I can accommodate, yes. You can accommodate it, right? But it, it's not a one-to-one -one alignment. Because if you have six smokers mm -hmm. and you're built for doing bigger events, you can run one smoker, right? Mm -hmm. But how are you going to serve that one person that really wants barbecue? Uh, well, I mean, it would be 
a lot. It would be more than one. Hopefully, more than one, but a lot so of people in that category. Where are you running into more than one person? Um, they would social media, or they would. Yeah. Right. What are those physical locations those physical where locations, where yeah. foodies are going to gravitate to? So you uh, have downtown the festivals, the food truck festival, and everything else downtown. Um, and, you know, I don't know that you really want to go down this path, but like bars and grills that don't do their own food. Oh no, right? no, that's that, that's actually I was I have a friend that <laughs> that just started their venue like maybe last year, and that's on the list. Yeah, to, right. To so cater for them. And to go back to uh, Dawn's at the beginning, if we can identify bars that don't have their own kitchens, it makes it really easy to contact them, mm -hmm. right, and go after them. Uh, lastly, small families. Small families that what? Don't want to cook, want barbecue, you know. And this, the, yeah, this might be families that don't have, you know, they don't want to cook. They might have a small party that, you know, kind of doesn't fall under this big blanket. Fair enough. Um, but a lot of those are... You know, from word of mouth, of, hey, we saw you here, and we want to put an order in, or mm -hmm. things like that. But yeah, I don't want to forget about those. Maybe you could do small families if I go to Sunday. What about Shafan? You're you're gonna have a <laughs> great semester with me. I love your ideas. And that's pretty, and that's and that's what I do now. And that's yeah. how people. What about men that do like man cave football and sports oh, events? I, I I think it ties in. David, that's what, you, what I was saying about that. The thing about barbecues. Get out there and let people see. Oh, yeah. Um, they will, they will say if you got some good barbecue. That's how smoking goes. Pop-ups, yep. Uh, so um, we'd be out there sitting around. He used to be on James Road. He does. He's over downtown. Oh, okay. And then yeah. he had a old Dallas festival. Mm -hmm. That's how he got his name started. So everything has to come back to alignment with what Jesse does, right? If we say we're going to be able to serve single families, we can't really market it as I dial Jesse up, he gets me my food for, for Thursday night, and he doesn't have any other business. That doesn't make any sense for his business model, right? What his advantages are. So take advantage of what uh, Shafan and Jesse and David all brought together. If he says on Saturdays and Sundays that this is the menu and I have enough for 25 orders, then that's what you're producing, right? And so people know, and they can, and even better, you don't have to deliver it. You can't for an upcharge. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. They, they come pick it up. Yeah, but they come pick it up. Mm -hmm. It falls into his competitive advantages, and it serves small families that can benefit this, that can benefit this as well. And so we get a lot of cohesion with how we actually operate through our businesses. So this is where I am now. I'm just working my way actually up. Yeah, that's good too. So, you said that you you're working this way up. Yes. Okay. So the last part of this is we need to go back and prioritize the people that we work with or that we want to work with. And listen, I could make a case that you should go this way and then this way, and then this way. Mm -hmm. But based upon what you want your goals for this, that totally makes sense, right? Because you have more control over this. Mm -hmm. You can determine your own profitability for it, and it feeds up to the rest of the marketing that you want to do. Yeah, then these people actually know who I It's hard to walk in. Oh, yeah, I'll do your $20,000 you know, party, and they're like, well, who are you? <laughs> Yes. When these people know who you are and they tell their boss, like, oh, hey, man, I had the best best food, you know, it kind of, I like the word of mouth. 